And we're back for part three of our Star Trek walkthrough. Let's go ahead and continue and see what kind of trouble we can get into next. Use the code. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Alright, so we got those guys negated. Officer, quickly, come in. I was getting ready to shoot him. Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar. I am pleased to hear your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open a fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. So what did that do? Did not do anything. Welcome news. The United Federation of Planets has come to the aid of the Vulcan people. Commodore Daniels of Starfleet has committed the resources we will need to complete the Helios device and establish a new Vulcan home world. With their backing, we will be able to complete construction and testing of the device. It gives me so much hope that in the darkest time for my people, our allies remain steadfast in their support. Commodore Daniels and Starfleet will have an honored place in the history of New Vulcan. I'm sure they're tickled pink about that. You appear to be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. Get out of the way, I have the power cell. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Where am I going? On this way. 
way it does it. Let them see you. Let them see you. that guy and take him out before he notices. Most certainly, our Starfleet training has prepared... Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Bones? You're breaking up. I can't hear you. It's deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. Stairs, though. No one in here. Alright, we have a 
pulse cannon. Awesome. Awesomeness. Great. More friendlies. Do something. Do something. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. Thanks for the shield boost, Spock! That weapon, grab it! find somebody to kill that's not a Vulcan. Energy stations, that's a good thing. Let's go! for another way in. Oh, you know what? 
Spock, over here. An access hatch. Of course, we're going into the tubes again. The coroner attempting to steal the device. You must hurry. Whenever you're ready, Spock. my head. Same toxin we found in the fallen Vulcans, but they do not. <laughs> All right. Appear to be infected. They must be the host. You think? Our ammunition. More interest in the possible side effects of the device rather than its primary function. There is some evidence to show that the device, once fully operational, no time to waste. Percussions. The catastrophic nature of this event is obvious, and yet Daniel seems oblivious to the dangers. He sees the threat as more of a an opportunity to be seized rather than a disaster Come to on, be Spock. avoided. He insists that further testing. Over here. I am dependent upon his help, Radiation but I fear that my dependence has put us all at great risk. Clock's ticking, Commander. So, some of these things are just Captain, a little buggy. Device. He's got the device! Better kill him then. We must not let him escape. Take the shield boost, Spock. Do it. 
Mr. Roth, we are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Mr. Rock? He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit! We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo, so what is that? you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Power has been restored. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Thanks for the boost. All right, so let's go here. In fact, we'll stop at the turbo lift. Once again, be sure to subscribe, and we'll continue with this next part, part four. Thanks again.